starting line of this fifth stage of Tour du Rwanda in Rubavu. Cyclists were still in awe after the great performance from the Eritrean team and the double victory of Natnael Tesfizion, the current holder of the yellow jersey. Professionals know that such a performance can sometimes be irreversible due to the energy and motivation such a winner gets that can last for long. After the longest stage where cyclists raced on over 200 kilometers, today's stage, though shorter with less than 85 kilometers, is bringing its own challenges to our cyclists. All are looking forward to a stage that could help them amend yesterday's discomfiture, but the confidence exerted by Natnael Tesfizion is an additional proof for who needs more, that it will require teams to use sharp strategies to get back ahead in the general classification by the last stage playing this Sunday in Kigali. And off they go for the Rubavu Musanze stage with attempts and attacks in the very first kilometers. These are orchestrated by Randiz Renus Uhiriwe and Kenyan Suleiman Kangangi. Several cyclists try to follow suit while the bunch remains on its guards. The speed is high, the peloton is stretched, annihilating any effort to break away. Former Yale Jersey and first stage winner Yevgeny Fedorov also tries his luck, hoping for backup. A small group will come as support, but their initiative becomes vain as the peloton comes back into force on the first climb of the stage as they exit Rubavu after three rounds. After the first climber classification led by Eritrean Enoch Mulueberan, Randiz Didier Munyaneza from UCI Continental Division team Benediction Ignite also tries a solitary attack. His advance will remain minimal. Teammate Patrick Dukusenge, also from Benediction, will have more success after the 30th kilometer. He races through alone at the front and creates the much awaited break, which puts him in front position. Patrick Dukusenge pursues his race while Total Direct Energy and Andrani Jokatoli strive to reduce the gap 20 kilometers from the finish line under the loud cheering of spectators there to support the Randy's head. It is the end of his breakaway attempt as the peloton accelerates the pace and prepares for the final sprint. And it's a victory for Colombian Jonathan Restrepo from Italian team, seconds ahead of French Romain Cardis and yellow jersey Natnea Tesfazion. A second stage victory for Restrepo after winning Tuesday's stage in Rusizi. Shake your